So first things first, there is a drop down, and um, and before the drop down there is nothing there. Then there is a search button. After the search button, there are two buttons, and then there is an icon. Then there are two more buttons. All right. So um, if you look here, uh, where is it? After Udemy, there is a drop down. So in in our code. After Udemy, there is a link. We don't need that link. That link should be after the drop down. There are two links though, and they should be after the drop down. And um, here is the drop down. As you can see, the drop down is an li tag that ends here that contains some things. So basically, in Bootstrap, if you understand how these things are structured, you just have to copy and paste code, then edit. That is mostly what we'll be doing in this video. We we'll copy code, paste it, then adjust it to what we want. All right. So, knowing that this li tag contains the drop down, uh, we're gonna copy these two guys and paste it beneath the li tag. So it's, they come after. So let's go and check what it looks like. We're here. Refresh the new page. So we have Udemy. Then we have drop down. Then we have these two links. It's making sense now. So after the drop down. What we have is a search bar before the two links. So let's go and check it out. If we scroll down, um, we have we'll, we'll see that there is a search here. There is a search bar here. We're gonna copy it and paste it after the drop down. Paste. Then we we'll refresh. You see, it's pasted here. Now, the other thing we have to do is that this drop down is named categories um, in Udemy. It's called categories. Categories. All right. Even though that uh, all these, are, we'll just assume that all these represent what is already existing um, here. So the drop down is named categories. If we look at this place, we refresh. We have categories drop down, right? So the next thing uh, we're gonna do is um, the search button. Say it's um, long compared to the one we have here, which is small. So we're going to extend the length of this search button to somewhere here. We'll probably double up what it is right now. So if you come here and look at the the length of the search button, so the first thing we will um, work on is um, this now if you look at this list everything from here is inside a ul tag this is a list and uh, this is an li tag that highlights the categories which is a drop down and um, skipping this now you see that this is an li tag this is an li tag contains the word home and then this is another one and so on and so forth you see so this form we need to put it inside an, a tag, all right? So I'll do, I'll do this. Now Python. So this is a short course. If you're using VS Code and you want to uh, type a div, you can just put uh, dot to type the class name, then hit enter to type the div for you. So this is a div, and um, this one has home. We don't need it. I'm going to remove this home. But before I do it, let me remove it first. We don't need the home button. So we'll copy this form, put it inside one of the li tags. So now we're going to do something interesting. First of all, let's see how it looks. So if we're looking at it here, we'll refresh. It looks pre pretty much the same, just that the home icon is missing. Now we have to remove this disabled tool. That look at it here. It's just one of the examples that came with the system. So here we have three children of this UL tag. We have li for the drop down. We have this one for the form, and we have this. All right. So now to work on the form, we need to give it a width. Now um, I have not taught you the topic yet, but um, if you're coming from Bootstrap three, you should understand that Bootstrap divides pages into um, three parts, which is what I will do. I will teach you, but um, now we have to give it a size of 8 and then 
uh, let's just see how it looks like first refresh you see uh, it has taken a size of eight but some things are not uh, properly placed yet now um, inside here on the input which is this one we need to give it a size of eight cool so generally when you're learning something new like this some things might be confusing but eventually it will all make sense to you you see we've given it a size of eight and it's back um, this button will take two so instead of eight let me give it um let's say ten this is the button that contains the word search so i'm gonna give this one call two so i will explain what what call one and call two means two is too small i think three would have made sense uh, then we'll have to give this one nine we're playing between 12. Any numbers that we're using must uh, sum up to 12. All right, good. So a quick reminder of what the, the um, Udemy one looks like. It starts from here and somewhere extends beyond the center to this place. So what we're gonna do is to try and extend it. Now to do that, we have to keep this navigation bar Look at this navigation bar. We need to give this navigation bar a container fluid class. In in C CSS in Bootstrap, container fluid. Look at the navigation bar. Look at where it started from. This this is where it started from. So uh, we're gonna give it container fluid. In Bootstrap, container fluid means it should extend to both S streams. As you can see, for now, this guy starts from here and it's stopping here. We want it to pull to this stream. Um, really? Sorry, not this div. We're talking about this UL. So we come here and make the UL container fluid. If you type this, it means that this UL should pull to the extreme. So if we refresh it, this is what it looks like. So this UL tag pulled to the extreme. Now we can reduce the size of this button. Um, to do that, we find the form look at where the form is the button is three which is quite big if we put it back at two and refresh then we can see what it looks like makes more sense right now uh, we can even risk giving it a one let's see what it looks like under a one and <laughs> one is um more perfect than i expected so one makes sense to me so we have search we have um, a button now if you look at this, see that there is search, then there is a, a one, two, three, four, five icons. So but just to, before I run out this video, let me just show you where I got this. Uh, it's not magic, everything about this. So you come here, come to Bootstrap uh, documentation, come to um, components, then you look for forms. So the key to understanding Bootstrap is that any topic I cover, you may want to go and read up the page on Bootstrap. So just come here, scan through everything about forms, how you can arrange your forms, organize them. These ones are horizontal, um, these ones are vertical. So this is what I'm looking for, a way to make the form bigger. So if you add this class, dot form control, look at it, dot form control LG. If you add it, the 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 input element will be bigger if you add dot uh, sm it will be smaller so um i want to come and add it look at the input element look at the class form control i want to add it to make it bolder so if we come here and refresh this guy should be bigger makes sense to me so um see you in the next video guys